Hi you guys, I'm Kendra. Today we're gonna to be talking about the best beauty blender knockoff that's around. I've been a makeup artist for 15 years. Beauty Blender has really only been around, I think, for like the past five. And as a makeup artist and beauty blogger and beauty nut and just whatever, mom, just regular human, I can't live without a beauty blender anymore. Like they have to be involved in my life. I have found a beauty blender knockoff and I think you need to know about it because the price difference is massive and the quality difference is not. See how that works? So let's talk about it. Ready, set, go. If you like anything that I'm sharing with you today, make sure that you give this video a like and then subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on anything that I will be sharing with you here in the land of citizens of beauty. Here we go, friends. These are them. Ah! Here they are. This is the original Beauty Blender and this is the knockoff version. So let's get up really close and you can see the original Beauty Blender that has been used. Definitely. They come in other colors. Um, I think I have a green one. Green guy. The bottom you can see is really rounded. And when I'm using the Beauty Blender, I just roll it on my face. And what I like about the Beauty Blender is that it has the, um, the pointed tip so I can get it really nice into the crevices of my face and blend out really, really well. So it really is nice. Now the knockoff looks like this. The knockoff is from Real Techniques and it has a flat edge like that. So it doesn't really have any roundness like this one does, but it does have the point, which I really like. Um, however, right here is pretty round, so I can still get the same effect where I'm rolling and then I can get the point and I just kind of stipple around my nose. The flat edge I honestly don't really use very much. There it is. I don't really use the flat edge very much. I don't, I just don't but the side and the point definitely. So as you can see, this one's around 20. The Beauty Blender's 20. And then the Real Techniques is about $8. It's honestly like eight or $9 for two. It's a really good, good deal. Um, as far as the density goes, like I can squish it and they squish the same. I know that sounds weird, but some of them, some of the knockoffs feel like a freaking eraser. Like, what do you want me to do? Like erase my makeup off? This is not going to work, friends. So it has to be really, really squishy. And when I take my fingers off of it, it shouldn't indent. Um, and some of the knockoffs that I've seen, they do indent. Like if you pre put any pressure on them, they don't bounce back like the normal beauty blender. They like just stick in one position. So that's why I really liked the Real te Techniques because it doesn't do that. It stays in really good shape, just like the Beauty Blender, and it um, doesn't become all disgusting and def like deformed foam, basically. So the foam quality that they've used for these makeup sponges are really awesome. And I don't really see, at least I don't really see like a 10 to $15 difference. So if you are looking for a really good Beauty Blender knockoff, Get the real techniques. I will link it in this video so you can get it. Um, and yeah, so if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys next time. In the meantime, party on friends. Peace.